toward a uh, demand for greater uh, voice and autonomy, but I don't see the kind of you know whole cloth political transitions like we saw in the other South American authoritarian regimes in the 80s and 90s yes. coming anytime in the near future now. Julie Swag, Senior Fellow for Latin American Studies and Director for Latin American Studies at the Council on Foreign Relations. Stay with us. We're talking about news today that 81-year-old Fidel Castro has resigned as Cuba's president and what that means for Cuba, for U.S.-Cuban relations. With Castro going out and the U.S. about to elect a new president, can a whole new relationship begin between the two countries? Cuban exiles, is this the moment you have been waiting for? We're at 1-800-423-8255. That's 1-800-423-TALK. Much more to come. I'm Jane Clayson and for Tom Ashbrook. This is On Point. From Boston University, this is WBUR. Boston's NPR news station and on the web at WBUR.org. Still to come, the second hour of On Point, beginning at 8 o'clock with Jane Clayson and Tom Ashburn. They say we're in for a new era of religious wars, but scholar Alan Wolf argues that in most places, religion 